Hey guys, this is Nishant and welcome to another video. So today I'm with this new topic in which I'm going to show you how can you simply set up your Blender character in Unity to work with Mixamo animations. So let's get started. First of all, make sure you only have your character mesh in Blender. No bones, no armature, nothing else. Only 3D mesh. Then apply transforms. Select the model. Go to file. Go to exports and select FBX and just save the file. Now let's go to Mixamo. The first thing we're gonna do here is upload our model. Now select character file and then select your Blender exported FBX file. Wait few seconds. Now use these buttons to get your character in front position. Then press next. Now you will see this image in which you are getting suggested to place markers as it is shown in the model. So let's do it. First is chin. Then comes the wrist and then elbows, then place the knees and finally the groin. Then press next and wait for a few seconds. And there is your character completely ready to work with Mixamo. Now press next to use it as your character in Mixamo viewport. So, so here is our character sleeping on floor, right? Well, select one of the animations from animations panel to see if model really works. Yep, it works just fine. Alright, so let's just check with walk animation and see how it's gonna work. Well, it's working great. But before that, make sure you delete the standard walk animation which you have just applied on your model. Because we are only exporting our character without any animations on it. Just a character with T-pose, nothing else. Now don't worry about character sleeping on floor, just download it as it is. First, Change the format to Unity FBX and then change the pose to T pose. And now just download it. Awesome. Now let's download some of the Mixamo animations to use it in Unity with Corrector. So, first, I'm gonna download the standard walk animation. Make sure you don't check this in place because we want our character to walk in the game scene. So, press download and keep the format same for Unity which have you selected for your correct model. Change the skin to without skin because we don't want to download the animation with character because we already have downloaded the character separately. Just keep that in mind. Set the frame per second to 30. 60 will increase the file size because of more keyframe data so just keep it at 30. And set the keyframe reduction to none because we don't want to reduce our keyframes for optimization because sometimes our keyframe reduction simply broke our animations. So just keep it to none and download. Awesome. I also downloaded a couple of few more animations like standard running and hip hop dance. So now let's go to Unity and see how our animations and characters are gonna work with our character. So here we go. Now drop your Mixamo downloaded character FBX file in the project manager. And now if you check the list, there is a character with materials. There are also separate materials just like Blender, a 3D mesh, and an animation clip which has depots, nothing else. Now let's see character settings in an inspector before adding it into our game scene. So go to rig settings and change the animation type to humanoid. Why? Because first, our character armature comes from Mixamo which only supports humanoid type of animations. And secondly, any character which has same body as human should always be used as a humanoid. And anything like dragons, lions, dogs or any kind of animal or a weirdo alien can be used as a generic type. But Mixamo animation won't work with that. Because Mixamo is all about human based or humanoid type of animations. So always be mindful of that. Now choose the avatar from this model and apply and it will create an avatar in asset. Now check animation settings. There are some root transform settings but keep them at default for this model for now because they're gonna work just fine. Then go to materials, extract the material in a folder and check the materials inside. You can also add your texture images to your materials in Unity which you have created for your model. Now let's drop the model in a game scene and see how it's gonna look. So our character is facing Z forward direction which means its rotation is correct. 
Mixamo has exported it correctly for Unity. Now if you check the animator added on the character, there are few things which we need to take care of. First is controller, which will help us to connect animations with character to use them in a gameplay. So let's create the controller. Go to project manager, right click and go to create and select animator controller. Now there is a new asset in the project manager. Now this is an animator. We are gonna add our animations to make them work with our character. So let's add animations to project. So drag and drop walk animation downloaded from Mixamo. Now if you open up the asset, there will be a triangular icon which is the actual walk animation clip. But if you try to play it in action viewport, it's just not gonna work. Because first we need to apply the rig settings on this animation clip. So select the asset, go to rig and change the animation type to humanoid just as we did with our character model and now go to avatar and select it from the list which is going to be our character's avatar because we are going to use it right with our character so apply it then duplicate the animation to use it right from the project manager rather than from within the asset now check the loop time to repeat it and finally drag and drop into an animator window and it will automatically get connected as an entry state animation. So let's play the game and see how it's gonna work. Well, our character started to walk nicely on his position. Congrats. But I want to not only walk, but also make my character to move, just like our characters move in a real game. So to do that, select the model and go to animator. And check apply root motion. Oh, and there we go. Character starts to walk and move forward. It's amazing, right? Now let's check run animation. Drag and drop and repeat the process. Go to rig, change the animation type to humanoid, select the avatar from other model and apply. Create animation clip duplicate, check the loop time, now drag and replace it with the walk animation. Now let's play to check the run animation. And there we go. Now character just gonna keep walking to the never ending viewport. You can also check the movement and location of your character in viewport from the transforms in inspector. You can see the z axis values just keep increasing. Which means our character is just moving towards this direction. Awesome. Now for the last check. Let's see how our character gonna work with the hip hop dance. So drag and drop and repeat the process. And now let's see the gameplay. Perfect. And that's it for the tutorial guys. And just as always, like, share and comment. And subscribe to the channel to help me to grow this channel more faster. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.